Um, I, I never really had a formal mentor um, or mentors, but I had a lot of people that I looked to uh, for questions, both locally and around the country that I knew, um, either other entrepreneurs that are in similar, space, uh, similar situations to me, people that were farther along, people in bigger companies. Um, I did take a lot of the experiences that I had with IBM and, and was able to apply those into what we were doing. But um, I'm, I'm certainly a believer in, even if it's not formalized, having that mentor-mentee relationship or having somebody who's kind of been through it as, as a person that you can call at midnight on a Tuesday or, um, or email and just try to figure out, like, how would you handle this scenario? And as we've continued to grow as a company, I've surrounded myself with more and more people like that um, because there's just there's so many unknowns that we're tackling on a daily basis and there's plenty of people who have been through it in some way shape or form that uh, it, it, it's just it's a good um, I think it's a really good idea I encourage people all the time to just try to surround yourself with folks who can give you honest feedback that's what you're looking for not not the people that tell you good job but the people that tell you this is what you need to be focusing on to do better we really did it all ourselves. Um, nobody in my company knew SEO at the time. I realize that's sort of a fading thing now, but in early on 2012, that was a big deal. Um, we, we figured it out and, and we were thinking, all right, maybe we need to hire somebody that is an expert on this or somebody is an expert on social media or somebody who's, and this is not to discount people who do that stuff, but we just didn't have the capital at the end of the day, and so we were forced, we were kind of like backed into a corner and forced to learn it ourselves and figure it out. And we spent, uh, when I talked earlier on in the presentation about launching at the end of the season, ahead of the next season, we spent months on end just testing marketing strategies and thinking in the beginning, where do brides spend all of their time planning their wedding? Probably on wedding websites or wedding blogs. The truth is that they continue to spend most of their time on social networks. And so we realized early on that we could leverage uh, the virality of social networks like Facebook and, and use that as a channel for us to market heavily on. And that still to date has been our largest channel in terms of user acquisition and thinking about our ability to, to use the virality associated with that channel for our own good. It is now. Um, when we first launched, there was like four or five other companies doing exactly what we were doing, which I think um, is, is a good thing. I know that a lot of entrepreneurs coming up with ideas think, oh, uh, there's already people doing exactly what, what I'm doing. I feel like that's exactly what you want when you're coming up with a concept because it validates the market. If you're the only person doing this concept that you have, there's, a, there's an issue with that. Um, so there was a couple folks that were doing it, we coming off of the 18 months of the former photo sharing app, we knew how to at least build something, so we had that going for us. Um, and then we were just extremely scrappy when we got into the space and we were able to beat out all of them. So yeah, I would say to now the hashtag is definitely our biggest competitor. I continue to tell them good numbers, uh, which are actual good numbers. Um, and when the numbers are not good, I have very in-depth reasons for why they are not good or why something is, is changing, maybe not for the positive. Um, I'm a firm believer in remaining transparent, so always giving them a, a very keen insight into what we're doing as a company, how we're progressing, making sure that they understand what the ultimate vision is for me and for the other people around the table in the company, um, and just being very open and saying this is what our plan is, when you guys invest in us, this is what, how, where we're gonna take the company and how we're going to execute. Um, they know that it's a, it's a crapshoot and it's a very risky investment, but it has the opportunity for a, a very nice reward on the, on the flip side. So that's what people have to go into this. In the beginning, when it was just friends and family, I literally made every one of them promise that if they never saw that money again, that it would not impact our relationship. Now, money can do weird things with people. Um, now that we're moving into uh, getting capital from venture capitalists and angel investors, I don't know, I, I don't make them give me that promise as much. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a touchy thing, but I think just remaining open and honest and, and really seeing that if what you're coming out with doesn't work, 
having that ability to move into something different and continue to execute is, is key. Yeah, so um, the first person that I ever pitched the idea to was one of my co-founders still today. Um, we went to the design school together and he was the first person that I thought of when I came up with this concept that would be crazy enough to leave his job to try doing this thing of entrepreneurship and building a mobile app that we had no idea how to build. Um, and then we started looking around and finding other people, um, friends of friends, Craigslist, um, and, uh, and even just getting referrals from like our attorney, for example. Um, so it was, I think it's surrounding yourself with people who believe in the product, um, who believe in the vision, and giving everyone skin in the game. I think is, is really important. And knowing, when I say skin in the game, they have equity in the company from day one. And knowing that what they're building and their contribution is ultimately gonna lead to a bigger um, opportunity down the road. So I think it's really just how well you can convey that, all of that, um, most, most um, importantly, that vision to the folks and, and surrounding yourself with people that, that believe in it and, and making sure that you're all sort of on that same page together. All right, thank you so much.